There's a plant over there. I should pick it. I'm no longer well rested. No, I know. I'm tired. I'm gonna have to kill things. Things are gonna try to get. Oh, look, the lights came on. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm really enjoying this. Also, fucking geckos. Seriously coming after me? Oh. Spare some ammo? Oh. What the fuck was that? Why are you hitting me? Why did you... Oh. That's a gecko. It's a hunter. I thought it was a person for a second because I'm dumb. <sighs> right, actually. While we're here, almost dead. Um, I can't even. I'm like. I'm crippled. This is not up to a great start. I do need to use a stim pack though. Save my life. I like that. Oh look, another fucking gecko. Yep. Where you going, gecko? So why am I getting radiation? Oh, nothing. <sighs> you coming back? No? You just why did the gecko cross the road? <sighs> Fuck, who knows? To fucking go up to the well? Bite some shit in the face? Something up here that wants to be murdered. Hey buddy. I see. Yeah, you're like, oh. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna camouflage myself behind this here rock. And then I was like, no, you're not. Well then I murdered you. How's that camouflage working out for you now, buddy? It's a lot of like cars. Hello. Are you, uh. I'm powder gangers. I should shoot you. Holy mist. No! <laughs> Patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should make a move soon. Follow the tracks up north, head towards the strip. You in? Ain't on the chain gang anymore, but we still gotta stick together. Except I then blew you up. I will take that. I will take that. And I will take that. Why isn't there a goddamn doctor's bed? Alright, we need to go.
good space should be just right over here. Um, Las Vegas. And it is a town named Jean. I had no idea. I need to go to Doc Mitchell. I need to get fixed up. Well, I need to get fixed up. You're perfectly fine. Ridiculous. I'm walking so slowly because I'm broken. I'm so broken. And so I'm walking slowly. I sold everything. Still back in, okay. Sander root. <sighs> Literally nothing is going to help me get there any faster. get here. It's been a long, difficult road. I laugh really hard at this new fucking Dead Springs. Actually it is. I know it is. Totally kidding. I need to find a place to sleep. And then we will do all the things we have to do in Dead Springs. Which isn't much. Uh, kill some powder daggers and then go to again, back to Prim and kill some more powder gangers and get your sense of a trend, huh? Alright. That's what we need to do. Yes! We made it! Oh, look at the bugs! How cool is that? Do you see them? Do you see the bugs? Look into the light. Yes. I am a loser right now. Yeah, so here's the thing. I don't know if, and I'm sure someone will point this out to me. Um, if I just go to sleep, will I magically heal my limbs, or do I have to go to Doc Mitchell? I'm unsure. Also, oh, where's Victor's shack? It's probably all the way on the other side of town, isn't it? Fuck that. I've got a mod. Not like a mod that if I uninstalled. I'm gonna laugh really hard if I fucking uninstalled it. It would literally be the dumbest thing I've ever done. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so there's a bed. 
Alright, let's go talk to Chet. And then we'll sleep for a few hours. Ow. And then we will... Alright, Veronica. Excuse me. Hello? There's literally nothing stopping me from robbing you blind. Seriously? You sleep on a mattress on the ground in the back of your store? I'm just... Like... I know you're a dick, but... Why? Why don't you have a house? Now hey there. Wake you, and you're so cheerful. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I didn't. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Alrighty. Can I put you in for sale? Can do. I've got a lot of prickly pears. Coffee mug. Bottles. I'm gonna death with a rolling pin, that's cool. Um, yeah, why not? You got that. 14. Um, you can have all of those. I have no use for this. 28. Nice. 23. Alright, and then what do you have in terms of. I've got a canteen. Need that. Got some backpacks. I could really use that. Um, let's just get that one. Um, um, I need a doctor's kit. There we go. Doctor's bag. And oh shit, no. Take it easy now. Will do. I'm gonna go take a nap. You gonna come with me? I'm gonna try sleeping first. Then maybe I don't have to use my precious doctor's bag. Oh. Hello. Hello there. My name is Deodorant Dad, and I'm a half stone man. Yes, that is right. I have only a few more. Oh. Why don't you cut, cut him off? Goodbye, Al. Bye. Bye. So it's 1 a.m. so we'll sleep for 7 hours. That should be good enough. Nice rest after a long, hard day of not dying. Well, we did that, didn't we? Died a lot. Okay, so that didn't cure my limbs. Uh, let's go to Doc Mitchell. Maybe he'll fix me. Just, am I like... I am. I'm like dragging my leg behind me. I really like that. Oh. Uh, well, it's like that. It looks like I got like a hip holster. Or like a thigh holster. Hip, thigh, same thing. Anatomy 101 with Jen. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Open the door. Also, the good thing about Doc Mitchell's is I can get all this shit out of him for free. Excuse me. Doctor. Alright, first of all. Uh, create some stim packs. Yes. And medicine bobblehead. And 
repair. Oh, I totally repaired it. Nice. And there's a book, and some reading glasses, and there's a pencil. There's pencils over here. Oh. Wait till you meet the lady who loves pencils. You're gonna hate her. I love Doc Mitchell. Just because his house is full of stuff. Hi, why are you sitting in the corner? That's sad. How are you holding up? Well, first of all, my leg. Don't look like nothing too serious. Let me patch you up. Thank you. I'll give you some money. Okay, hold still. Nice. Why are you leaving? Why is it... Oh. Was that like time passed? How are you holding up? I'm alright. Um, I need medical supplies. Sure. I'll take that. And yeah, that's it. There you go. You enjoy that. Um Goodbye. You take care now. I will. Right after I take all of your stuff, specifically your pencils. I don't want that. I love this house. Because one, Doc Mitchell, very nice man. And two, Doc Mitchell has a ton of shit. His house is full of it. It's wonderful. It is ideal. Which is the main reason I wanted to come here anyway. Isn't that right, Veronica? Yeah, look at you. Look at your cold, dead eyes. I don't know where I went in the bathroom. That was dumb of me. This is the room I wanted because... Cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. Now, for a doctor, he's a very nasty habit. And I think that's it in here. It is this, but I'm not going to go in that. It's like too cheaty for this playthrough. Goodbye. Beautiful good springs. Look at you. You look like a hobo. I'm gonna call you hobo. Minor starvation. Really? How long do I have to eat? There, we'll eat these. I'm gonna do a whole hell of a lot. Um, yeah, we'll eat that. And some more. Now, we're going to talk to Sunny. Actually, first we're going to take a seat. Look at my ridiculous face. Yeah. Oh, I sit like a lady. Why did you stand up? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? You can hold on just one second. Um, why you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Um, what's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't that. stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. I've met them too. Um, tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't, or couldn't, finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back, and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Um, what's so important about Hoover Dam? 
The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Oh. All right, thank you. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Ooh. Critters move in there sometimes. Foreboding. Foreshadowing. For Vegas. Howdy. Look very clean. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Good. Uh, uh, I'm a little short on cap. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Oh. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. You if you want to take a shot at it, take these. Uh, magazine? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Nice. And the bobby pins? You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Alright, thank you so much. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Until next time. I need to find the lady. I suppose I have to do the tutorial. We'll, we'll go to the thing first. Howdy. Howdy. We literally just spoke. Literally two seconds ago. Actually, I bet you I can just go talk to him. And then I don't have to go through the whole trouble of Trudy being amazing. Although, I want to fix her radio. Actually, do anything? Does anyone know the answer to that question? Who are you? Adventurer. You? No, I actually don't want to see that. Wait, buddy, come back here. Also, what is that building? I've never seen that building before. Excuse me. Hey. Oh, wow. Uh, you got anything to trade? Sure. Here's what I got. Oh, you've got lots of money. You can have a lot of stuff that I picked up. Um, and, you know, Dr. Mitchell. Good. A pulse mine, a sledgehammer, and a laser pistol. Okay, and a head wrap. Alright. And. A province call. Just what I always needed. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. Later. Toodle bit. What is this? I've never seen this. I don't even know what added this. Oh, maybe this is the house for doors securely fastened and cannot be opened without a key. However, it's obvious that the shack hasn't been opened in some time. Maybe someone around town knows what happened to its owner. Oh, I know what this is. This is, um, I don't know, it's a mod for a house. Hello, water brahmin. Dude, it looks somewhere to sleep. And not even somewhere to sleep, just someplace. Oh, it's you. Oh, that's a good mod. Electricity. Something or other. Adds a bunch of bunch of stuff to the game that I'm still learning about. Ooh, ooh, all right, um, we just tried to murder him. Yeah. <sighs> Walk all this way, and now I don't know if I can go all the way back down there, just so I could do this honey smiles thing. 
Then I gotta talk to Trudy. Then I gotta go up there. I know I don't have to, I could just go, but I don't really want to die a horrible pain for that, which is what will happen. Hi. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah. Um, a guy like you must know a thing or two about the desert. Anything you could teach me? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll let you go first. Why are there only two bowls? Also, why did I just try to walk into the corner? Any radiations. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Nice. So, I was, I, I did record, like, a, another hour of video on a different character, um, but then uh, something happened, I had to delete it all, which is fine, uh, but I spent a good 20 minutes trying to figure out how the mod, more water please, or whatever, worked. <laughs> now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Yes. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That one or the one in my hand that you already gave me? The dog? No? The bottle? Okay. Uh, should be back. No. Just at a really awkward angle. That's the right idea. Thanks. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Far, far away. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Uh, cause I don't want to. Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. I did. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Alright, will do. Can I repair the varmint rifle with the varmint rifle? That makes literally no sense. Nine. Ooh, six. Maybe more damage per second. Six. Twenty-five. Eighteen. Nine. Um, okay, we're going to use this now. I don't know why I'm bombing. Um. Two don't have to equip you and maintain with that and repair you with that and put that on. Oh, I can't run both. Oh. I'll put you on. Yeah, okay. Um. Alright, maybe we should stop crouching. Yeah, that's a tree. Howdy. Hi. We were literally just out there together. I don't know why you needed to greet me again. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll yeah. keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Cheyenne. Hi, Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Uh, um, what was that all about? 
Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Find him. Town's not that big. Cobb hasn't exactly been looking for Ringo too hard. I think he's afraid that Ringo will ambush him, which is probably true. Um, where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Uh, can we talk about something else? Alright. Um, I'm trying to attack down the people who attacked me. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. Mm -hmm. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Nice. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Uh, did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Um, so where are they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Um, do you want me to take a look at your radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Um, what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Um, Alright, thank you. Be careful out there. Will do. Repair. Yeah. Fixed it. Come on, level up. Do it. Level up. We're gonna do it, Veronica. Alright, um... Let's get speech up. And guns up. Because Jesus Christ. And... Get survival up. And medicine. Actually, no, I'm going to get locked right now because I can't open anything. There we go. And... Rapid reload, intense training, Black Widow. Yeah, we'll do Black Widow. Hi. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. No, um... Radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Uh, is that it? You're implying I Not at all. Work? I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? How about kissing the beautiful, beautiful woman? Thank you. Be careful out there. Alright, well, we're gonna stop here for now when we get back Cheyenne. No, I didn't really want that. Um, Howdy. Hi, can you not speak to me? I'm trying to do an outro here. So, uh, we'll end here, and when we get back, we'll go talk to Rick. See you around. Who is talking? Stop it. And um, next time, we'll go talk to Ringo and take care of these powder gangers, and then we'll head back to Prim and take care of more powder gangers, and then... <sighs> Veronica, what the fuck are you doing, Trudy? There we go. Come on, guys. Come on. There. You, you happy now? You all set? You all sorted out your lives? 
brilliant. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. If you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter at Let's Play Jen. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Say bye, Veronica. I said say bye, bitch.